Hello everyone, in this tutorial I want to talk about Selenium. The final goal of this project is to build a simple translator app using Google Translator. As you may be familiar, it is used for browser automation. Everything you can do with browser, you can do it with this package. For example, you can use it for scraping websites, building Instagram, Twitter bots and things like that. For installation, you can use pip package manager. If you have already installed Selenium, you can use upgrade command to update the package. After that, we should download the required drivers. I want to use Firefox, so I download Gecko driver. Uh, that is a web browser engine that links us to the Firefox browser. You can use Chrome driver too. I put this driver inside resources folder in my working directory. Let us start coding. First, I import required modules. I import web driver and Firefox service to instantiate our web driver. I import options from Firefox options to uh, later add options to our browser. I import by to select elements based on their IDs, classes, and things like that. Keys for using keyboard keys. And finally, time and OS. Let's print our web driver version. Currently, I'm using version 4 of Selenium. Now, I create a path to my resources folder and Gecko driver. First, I get my translate IPython notebook path. Then I find my resources folder. And finally, my Gecko driver. Next, I create an instance of my service and I pass the driver path as its argument. Similarly, I create an instance of Firefox options and finally I create my Firefox web driver and I pass the service and options. As a quick note, if you are using Selenium version 3, you should instantiate your Firefox web driver like that and you should use the executable path to your driver path instead of service. Now I use my driver to get the link to the translator URL. Now in order to translate the text, first we should identify this box. I use inspect from my browser to find this input box. As you can see, it is a text area with this ID. Now I use driver find element by ID and the value we have found. Next, in order to find the available languages, we should click on this drop down box. Let's find this. Then I use inspect. I use this tool to actually find this box. As you can see, this div tag has an ID with this value. So let's find this. I repeat the same command. Now, in order to click this drop down menu, I can use the click command. Now, let's see the uh, attribute for this list of languages. For example, one of these. As you can see, it has a class attribute. Uh, with language list item. Let's find this. 
Now uh, there are multiple elements, therefore I use find elements to find all. This time I use class name. I iterate over the elements and if the text of that element, uh, that is the actual language we are uh, finding, is not empty, we add that text to our list that contains our languages. For illustration, I use Spanish to translate a text. Now let's print the available languages. Now in order to select Spanish, we should click on it. Now if we start typing some text, you can see a button uh, for clearing that text is showing. We can actually extract this button too. So it has a class name and a title. Now in order to accurately pick this button, I find all elements with this class name and if the title attribute is equal to clear source text, I have found my clear button. Now let's create a translate text function with a text as its input. I click on my input text. Next, I clear my input. As you saw earlier, if our input text is empty, the clear button is hidden. Therefore, I put my clear.click inside a try and accept block. In order to make our algorithm more robust, in our exception block, I use a different approach for clearing my text input. I use send keys command to first use control and A to select all the text. And after that, I use backspace to clear the text. Now I should send my text to the input text. I use send keys with the input string. I wait for 3 seconds and finally I should find the output text box. And I return its text as the output of this function. Now let's test our function. And as you can see, it is working fine. At the beginning, I talked about options we can add to the Firefox. In order to hide our uh, Firefox browser, we can use the headless option and add it to the Firefox options. Finally, after we are finished with our work, we should close our driver. That's it for this tutorial. I hope that you find this video helpful.